Hey everyone, it's your friendly Ancient Ruins player 5050. Uh, per the request of one of my number one fans, I have, uh, I'm going to give my predictions for who will make it out of groups. For those that do not know, this is this upcoming week will be the second week of playoffs, and it will be the round of 64 to 32 and 32 to 16, uh, respectively, on Saturday and Sunday. After this week, uh, people will be out of groups, so they say. And here I will be giving my predictions on who I think will make it out of groups. Um, additionally, I have some uh, very, very special announcement to make and some uh, future content plans that I will uh, elaborate more on at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's take a look at what I think, who I think is going to advance out of groups. Sadly, both my accounts are dead, so something that I will do in the future is actually go over the games I did lose, but that is... Uh, for something at the end of the video. Anyways, let's see who's left. Hale, Arston, Fresh Nice, Sabrek. Okay, so Hale's gonna destroy Arston. Fresh Nice, Sabrek. Yeah, Sabrek. I, I heard some mean things about Sabrek. I fought him a couple times, but yeah, not someone I think that can beat Fresh Knight. Well, uh, assuming Fresh Knight's placed by played by Santi Chai. Sa Santi Chai. Is, sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. But it'll be uh, we'll be seeing a Santi uh, Hale versus Fresh Knight game. And I think I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my bet on Fresh Knight, and uh, I think he will win this outcome. So winner of group play will be Fresh Knight. Let me write this down. Oh, okay. So I already wrote it down. Fresh Knight will be the winner of Group A. All right, on to Group B. Yeah, the, uh, the reason why I think Fresh Knight will be Hale is because Fresh Knight, as many of us know, how Hale plays. You know, there is way there are ways to exploit his box, but uh, against, you know, it's not going to be a stomp, let's put it that way. But I think Fresh Knight will be able to figure out how to beat him. Alright, so Group B, Mylan, Mal Sensei, Noob, and Elite Mangu Dai. I don't know who this guy is. I assume he's a good player. <laughs> but, uh, so Mylan, very strong player. I think he reached the round of uh, 32 last season. I think he's he's won he's uh he's won more games than he's played, which is very respected. See, double 64 round of 64 games. But jokes aside, uh, Mylan versus Mao. I think uh, Mao's gonna win, unless some otherworldly force wills Mylan to win. But Mao should be able to win this matchup, in my opinion. Uh, Elite Mangu Dai versus Noob. Uh, I'm 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 basing off uh, my prediction based off how uh, how my results ended up with them in ladder. I have not fought Elite Mangu Dai before. Maybe this was a name change. I think I have fought Noob, but I do think I don't have much to say. But I think. Uh, I think Noob is going to come out, and Mal Sensei versus Noob, we all know Mal Sensei is an AoE player, so Noob should hopefully have some units to counteract that. But whoever wins this group will be on the right side, in my opinion, and I believe we'll go to no Ob or Noob. Ooh. Maintenance is coming soon, so I shall need to speed things up a bit. So Group C, Testa Rosa, Rimkut, Auto Run. Don Sincero, this looks like a name changer, let's see. Oh, okay, no, he's a fresh, uh, he looks like a relatively new Apex player, okay. It's nice, nice to see new blood. Uh, young blood, who lost, hey, hey, hey. But yeah, I think Autoron's, Autoron's gonna win this side. Uh, Tessa Rosa, I think, is played by Q, and Reem Kute is, let's take a look at this. Okay, so pretty, pretty, uh, OG player. But I do think uh, Testa Rosa is gonna win, and Auto Run is gonna end up winning this group. Auto Run, uh, you know, I, I have to proclaim myself to that I I I, I was able to beat Auto Run before, often RNG Tenyo's proc that is. So yeah, I think Auto Run is a really good player, so he should have no problem uh, advancing here. Okay, on to Group D. Ooh, my favorite, uh, favorite, my best friend, Aranoa, Lufia Scarlet, 
Uh, already on Sparks and MX. Okay, so Luffy Scarlet. I do think Erno is gonna win this side. I know Sparks and I know MX. So I know. So okay, this game depends on if MX doesn't do some. <laughs> so I'll review the games once uh, it happens. But I, I believe Sparks is gonna win this, and I do think Erno is gonna actually win the group. Yeah, I have faith in you. You know. While I do think uh, you, you know you're, you're a noob sometimes, but I do think you have a really good chance of winning this group, a really high chance. Okay, on to group E. Cecil, uh, Mystic Star, Promise Me, Don't Turtle, and Well Nilo. Okay, so Promise Me. Okay, so this is my one of my accounts that I lost to Yum Yum. That Turtle proceeds to beat Yum Yum at. So. I, in my opinion, I think Turtle likes to fight more uh, tankless, I guess, or at least non-traditional tank boxes. I don't consider Juggler Alpha true traditional tanks. They like off tanks. Cecil runs one of those traditional tank push boxes, so I do think Cecil is gonna be uh, told. So we have Well Neil and Mystic Star. Mystic Star finished fairly high last season, so I will give Mystic Star the edge here. Well Nilo, I have not. Uh, face before, but I do think Mystic Star will end up beating Cecil and coming up out of this group. On to group F. Okay, so we have Michelin Tire, aka I forgot his name, Sandy. Yeah, Sandy. Okay, uh, some Russian characters, Gal, and that's my pizza. I think this is, I think I know this. This guy is uh, also a streamer, I believe. But yeah, I, so I think Gal's going to win this side, Michelin Tire is going to win this side, and I think Michelin Tire, aka Sani, is going to make it out of groups. I have fought Sani multiple times, and uh, he knows my name, I believe. You probably remember some games that I played with him and some games that I got uh, bullied by him. So, Sandy would be the one I predict to make out of Group F. Group G. Okay, Kong is left. Oh, USA Fake Vote. War? App to you and Anomi. Okay, I don't know if these two guys probably did do their name changes. Ooh, top four. Okay, maybe, maybe I just didn't meet these top players in the ladder. But I do think War is going to be Kong on the left side. And just judging by past rankings, I do think uh, uh, Nomi is going to beat this side. War runs a Empire box, which, you know, I, I, I like his style. It's very unique. But I do think that Empire box has some um, counter measures that could be enacted. And I do think Nomi probably will figure those counter measures up. And eventually uh, win this group. So I give it to Anomi for group G. On to group H. Okay, so Feifei, uh, Tomato, Miyoko, and Deadly Mango. All right, I gotta give it to Deadly Mango to win, to beat Miyoko. Miyoko I know is from a uh, fellow guildmate of uh, Sam, Sam Tinder. A, a guild, well, not entirely full of turtles, but heavily populated, but rather defensive players. Do you think Deli Mango will be able to take advantage of that win? So, Fei Fei versus Tomato. I remember Tomato. I do think Tomato has an edge, but I do think Deli Mango is going to make it out of Group H. In group I, we have Namita, Set Sky, Self, and YZ. So this was my other account. I fought my, uh, yeah, this match, I, we'll, we'll go over it. I was very salty. Very salty match. You'll see why in a couple videos that, later that I will end up releasing. But YZ, fellow guildmate, I predict he will be Self, and he will be, I don't care who's on the left side, but I do think he'll win, he'll be, uh, he'll be the victorious. He'll be the one coming out of this group. So group I will go to YZ. YZ and his Alicia. Anyone that fights him, you should second ban Alicia. 
<laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Well, maybe he'll watch this, but... Okay, so Tiamat, Bee Guy, and Raven, and uh, Dead by Memory. Uh, oh, Ancient Ruin player. Not, hmm, don't remember him, but I do think Raven's gonna beat Dead by Memory. B Guy should be able to beat Tiamat. I have fought Tiamat a couple more uh, times later. He does run a, uh, I would say, a rather defensive uh, yellow push box. B Guy should be able to take advantage of that with his AoE centric box. And B Guy versus Raven will be an interesting matchup. Uh, it's honestly a 50-50, but I'm going to have to give it to B-Guy. Because he beat me in TSDL. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyone that uh, beats me is automatically better than me. And anyone that has lost to me once, just once, is not better than me. <laughs> that's how I uh, that's how I rank my uh, players. Okay, we have Chung, Trinhov, Will underscore, and Juni. Chung versus Trinhov. I think Trinhov's going to win. Will versus Juni. Hmm. I think Will's gonna win, but I think Trinhub is then gonna end up coming out of this group. The group, uh, group K is gonna be having Trinhub as their representative. In group L, we have Super Danjay, Bite Me, aka YQ, Never Sid, and Ana C. So I, I, I fought Neverson on the last day actually, and I think we broke even. Anyhow, I this is the match that I will be very interested in. My fellow Gilmay Super Danje versus YQ, uh, last season's uh, fellow participant in the championship game. With a good enough RNG, let's put it this way, good enough RNG, I believe uh, Super Danje will win this game and end up beating Neverson and coming out of this group alive. So group L will go to uh, Super Dan J. Group M, we have Lumiere, Clock, Super Bob, Kagami, Ren. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just, no, no disrespect. Well, okay, there is kind of disrespect, but Clock is gonna win it all. Lumiere, I don't think is gonna be able to beat Clock. Kagami, Rin, Super Bob, doesn't matter who wins, I think Clock will be able to advance here. So, uh, Group M is going to be Clock's group. On to the next group, Group N. We have uh, SCL. Oh, SCL was able to play playoff. Great, great, great. Kutaru and Sioni. I think, uh, so Bai Mao Hu Wang is not going to beat SCL. It'll be a SEO versus Kutara game, and I think SEO will be able to beat Kutara. I think Kutara runs an AoE centric box too, but I have high hopes for SEO. He, I believe, he made Langrisser first day. Perfect, perfect run, no losses. So yeah, very impressive. So I think SEO is gonna make it out. We have Sophia, Ben, Sam Tindo, Extinct Mara. Funny enough, I do think Sam Tindo is gonna make it out of this group. So. <laughs> Give my fellow friend Sam uh, credit when credit is due. So Sam is gonna make it out of his group. So in the last group P, we have Red Guy, Edgar Allan Bro, KSTMM, Lord Form. Okay, so. Uh, it's gonna be hard to know who's gonna be. I think this is freed from uh, Main Chord. And I think I fought this guy a couple times, but the champion of this group is not going to be on the left side. I think Red Guy or Edgar Allen Bro should be able to uh, get out of groups. The question is, oh, I guess I got DC, but great thing we're glad. Uh, hope, uh, luckily we're on the last group, so uh, Egg, it comes down to Red Guy or Edgar Allen Bro, and I do think I'll, I'm going to give it to Edgar Allen Bro. And I think Edgar Allen Bro is going to end up uh, making it out of uh, groups. So yeah, here's my list. My list, my opinions. My opinions on who I think would be uh, making out of groups uh, in Season 10 playoffs. So yeah, I guess uh, going back to what I wanted to talk about earlier about the special announcement. So very fortunately, I was accepted into a strategist as a strategist. And I can join the rank, the elite ranks of my fellow strategist, strategists in uh, Languish of Mobile. 
So with the role of strategist, I do plan on making more videos consistently and more variety. Right now, I've been only uploading kind of like uh, massive compilations of games that I've been playing. And I do plan on having different content in the future. You know, uh, for example, I think I had some reviews of uh, playoff games. That is something I do want to finish doing. And another thing that was suggested by someone was I could do a... Uh, uh, similar to if you've seen Shacked in the Fool, but instead uh, I'm calling it Throw Game Thursdays. So on Thursdays, not every Thursdays, but some Thursdays, I'll be uploading um, a top top N. Uh, N can be 3, 4, 5, maybe 10, depending on how many submissions I get, of games where people throw through very hard. I myself have already a submission of my playoff game and I believe uh, two other people that I know have some missions but if you are interested and you think you have a game which showcases the art of throwing please leave a comment uh, with your name your server and which game post the game on your name card and uh, give a brief description of the throwing that occurred and why you know a good throw has a lot of buildup it doesn't have to be a best of three series like the my game for example that I will be submitting but a good throw has to result in an L. So that is the criteria. A Apex game and an L. So if you're interested, yeah. Like I said, please leave a comment and I will look at your submissions. Uh, without further ado, um, after maintenance, hope you guys uh, have fun with the, I think, Yu Yu Yusuke or whatever is coming back. So that's something that will uh, definitely pull some people back and pull. So good luck on your pulls then. And... Till next time, bye.